What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Prayer Head Picker coming at you guys today with another uh, little ride along, possibly haul, vlog, uh, that sort of type of video. Uh, heading off to the post office this morning. Uh, I got about eight packages going out real slow this week. Um, you guys will see that on my uh, Making Money Monday uh, if I get around to getting that out today. Um, it'll either be today or tomorrow. Uh, I've been trying to get, I got all my books all uh, pretty much all done this morning. I woke up about 5.30. So finished up all my book work. Uh, now I gotta think. Uh, hopefully, maybe get uh, some GoDaddy or something like that ordered today, um, or something. Because uh, man, it was just a nightmare getting that all uh, caught up and straightened out. But anyway, so that's all done. Uh, I got my packages all uh, done up, ready to go off to the post office. So I'm heading there right now. Gotta stop out at my uh, folks for a couple minutes. Uh, gotta do something on my dad's computer. Change a couple light bulbs. Uh, for them, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully I can go to, uh, I'm just probably just going to hit my local uh, Goodwill, and then uh, probably a uh, consignment shop. Um, i seen online one of the local consignment shops, um, about four of their tags were 90% off, so I'm kind of hoping to hit that up uh, today, go check that out, see what it's all about. Um, you know, it's one of them places that I find some stuff here and there, you know, but I just never know what I'm going to find. Uh, you know, it's a consignment shop, so the prices are typically a little higher than than normal. But, uh, you know, when you get stuff 50% off or even 90% off, you know, that's definitely, uh, you know, 50% off is usually about where I'm normally comfortable. But, you know, if I can hit some stuff at 90, uh, I'm even better. So, anyway, yeah, I got my... Uh, Got my phone, camera, whatever you want, all mounted uh, on my dash again. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I got scolded by a couple viewers for uh, driving uh, without uh, having both hands on the wheel. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got that remounted. Um, you know, and, and, and they're right. You know, I mean, I, sh I, I shouldn't be uh, holding my phone while I'm doing that. So uh, definitely uh, got that going again. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, just pulled up to my post office. I'm gonna run in, uh, run my stuff in, and then uh, I'm gonna probably swing by my local Goodwill, then run out to my folks, and then uh, so we'll just kind of see how it goes from there. Yep, that's my uh, my big box, and then I got a bunch of little stuff all down here. So heading in the post office. Yep, that's my post office. Just a little dinky little post office. You know, I live in a small town, so you know we don't have anything big and fancy here. Okay guys, uh, just leaving the post office. And yeah, we're gonna head across town and uh, we'll go hit up my uh, local Goodwill. I didn't even go over there yesterday on Sunday. Sunday was color change. Um, actually, I haven't been in there in a couple days, so uh, maybe I'll get lucky and find something. I'm not really expecting anything too much uh, on a Monday. You just never know though. It was pretty crappy and you know, I wanted to stay home, watch the football games. Uh, they were both pretty, uh, exciting and then we had some other stuff going on and what have you so but uh anyway uh, i don't know if you guys noticed uh i had that big white toter uh from the post office um that's something you guys can ask for at your post office um if they have any totes especially if you guys are doing any kind of volume um tip, especially for like on the weekends you know I, I usually always have you know a decent amount of packages that i'm taking in uh, you know like today i think i had eight and one of them was a pretty good size one um you know, it does make it nice for uh, taking your stuff in, into the post office. A lot of times they'll uh, give those out to you if you just ask for them. I've probably got, I don't know, 10 of them at home. And usually once I get down to about four, so I usually just ask for another stack. Today they actually gave me my uh, my toter back, so that was that was kind of nice. So I was able to throw that back in the, uh, in the thing. So um, just a little something you guys might want to uh, keep in mind. Um, you know, if you guys drop your packages off a lot and you guys have a lot that, uh, you know, you might want to just take an ass for something like that. So anyway, yeah, heading off to Goodwill. Man, is it foggy today. Check this out, guys. It is foggy as all get out. Yep, I'm just crossing river into the next town. Got two factories on uh, each side there. Both of them are uh, shut down. And uh, it's kind of funny because back in the day, I actually worked at each one of them. Uh, I started out when I was uh, when I turned 21. I worked at the one uh, on the right-hand side of the road. I worked there for about eight years. Um, and I, well, actually, I worked there at their. Uh, they have a different location, but I worked for that company, and I worked in that building uh, off and on. And then on the building on the right, uh, 
that one there, uh, I worked for that company for almost 10 years. So, um, yeah, and both of them have closed up. So, uh, you know, just uh, in the middle of the heartland here, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of factories that close and this and that, and you know, it makes doing, uh, you know, what I do, you know, the reselling and stuff like that, uh, you know, they're just that much more important. You know, I mean, if I would happen to lose a job, I have, I have a decent job now, uh, but if I would happen to lose that job, I do have a pretty decent income that comes in, um, you know, that I could still uh, be able to support my family on. So, you know, uh, the recent, just this whole reselling thing is uh, definitely a great, you know, j just a great, uh, I guess, I don't want to call it a side hustle, but it is a side hustle for me at the moment. Um, it does, you know, uh, allow me to uh, pay for some college for my daughter and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, yeah, so we're heading off to Goodwill. house that was uh, right there on the corner big white house uh, he was probably one of the founders of uh, the town here um, guy uh, started up a steel mill uh, there's some schools named after him and a bunch of other stuff like that so uh, yeah, a very influential uh, person in the community uh, yeah, kind of that place is uh, turned into a museum now and what have you and, uh, they do all kinds of different stuff there so Alright guys, leaving the Goodwill. Um, I didn't have any luck in there at all. I ended up finding a pair of jeans for me to wear to work. Uh, you know, just regular old pair of Carhartt jeans. You know, can't beat six bucks for a pair of Carhartts, you know, unless you get them in a garage sale for a dollar or two, but uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. And then, you know, once I, uh, you know, if I end up uh, going up or going down in a waist size, I can always flip them, so uh, not too bad. I did uh, really, and then the only other thing that I did pick up, uh, picked up this cool hat well you can see it but it says i race lawnmowers um i've been eyeing this, this hat's been sitting there today uh, green was the uh, half off day so this thing's been sitting there for a month i've been eyeing this hat for a while uh you know i was too cheap to pay a dollar for it but i didn't pay 50 cents for it um i'm gonna have to steam it and try and get the little bit of i don't know the wrinkling and what have you out of it and it does have just a little bit of stuff on the inside but i think i could clean that up um and there are no, I couldn't find any hats like that at all on eBay. So um, I might actually have kind of uh, a rare item here. I, I'm not sure because um, I have tried to look this up before. So, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, it's just kind of one of those little niche things, you know, uh, it's probably a small group of people that, uh, you know, race lawnmowers and what have you. But uh, I just thought it was just kind of a cool hat. So I figured I'd pick it up. It is, you know, one of them neat little vintage uh, snapbacks with the distressing on it and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm off to my dad's and then uh, I got to do a little bit of work out there real quick. Then I'm gonna go hit a uh, consignment shop 
and hopefully we can find something good over there. All right, guys, heading out uh, from my parents' house. Oh my God, I could not get out of there. <sighs> Nothing like trying to do computer stuff for uh, mom and dad. Then they break out both computers and trying to do stuff with pictures and what have you, but uh, God bless them. <laughs> uh, they had changed some lights for my dad uh, out in his shop and he had a couple broken bulbs. So I had to go run and take care of that. <sighs> Always something. But uh, one of the good things about, you know, going out to go see mom, mom hooks me up with some, uh, one of my favorite cakes. So uh, definitely a win there. And mom saves me newspapers. So, uh, you know, always made for great packing and stuff like that. So uh, all in all, it was a win. I'm gonna head off, go meet the wife for lunch. And then uh, where we're gonna go eat, I think we're just gonna go eat at Subway. Um, she said she was gonna meet me over there. And um, then we'll go, and there's a little thrift shop that's right next to uh, where the Subway is. So I'll probably go hit that place real quick. And then we'll uh, run over to the consignment place, so. All right, all done eating lunch. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna stop at the, uh, oh, this little consignment shop. Uh, I should call it little because it is pretty decent size in a really big building. I actually gotta like loop around the block uh, to get to it. It's kind of weird the way that's set up, well, I guess basically because it's on a one-way street. But uh, anyway, yeah, there's a bunch of old houses down in here. Um, okay. But anyway, yeah, the consignment shops in this big building right here. And this place is actually known to be haunted. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Um, so you know if you believe in that sort of thing or not. But uh, yeah, I guess there's all kinds of weird activity that goes on here. Uh, you know, one of the original buildings from uh, way back when uh, you know town was made. Yeah, you can see like just a lot of old architecture right here. So anyway, we're gonna go inside. Hopefully we can find something good. Man, the sun has finally came out today. I hope it stays out. I'm really wanting to grill some burgers. Um, maybe something like that. Uh, you know, just, just be outside. Maybe have a beer and uh, smoke a cigar. I haven't had a cigar in uh, quite a while, so definitely looking forward to doing some of that. All right, guys, all done on the uh, consignment shop. Yeah, there was supposed to be like four different colors, 90% off, and then one 50% off. Um, ended up only being uh, two 90% off and uh, one 50% off. So, and there was nothing in there with uh, the 90% off at all. But uh, I did manage to pick up, um, I grabbed three things. Um, you know, two of them weren't too bad. This has got a nice Tommy Bahama uh, V-neck t-shirt. I paid uh, four bucks for that. I'll get 20 bucks out of it. Um, and then I got a uh, Ralph Lauren uh, new new tag. So, you know, it's got the new tag. Kind of like a, one of them uh, thermal Henleys, or, well, crew neck Henley, or crew neck thermal. I guess it's thermal shirt, long sleeves thermal shirt. And this is a 2XL. I don't know, uh, I may end up keeping that, I don't know. Uh, but otherwise, that'll probably go for about 20 bucks. And then I got uh, Super Mario for the Wii. Um, and this is the most I've ever paid for one of these. I paid seven bucks for this. But I'm gonna get it somewhere between 15 and $20 out of this game, so. Um, and it should be a rather quick sell. So all in all, uh, I spent, was it $16? I think I spent $16 in there, and I got about 60 bucks worth of stuff. So uh, depending on whether or not I end up uh, keeping the uh, the thermal, um, I'm probably gonna flip it, but we'll, we'll just see. And then, uh, but anyway, I guess that's not too bad. All right, we'll see what else uh, we got in store for today. Okay, well you guys can see uh, I, I made it home. I uh, got a chance to uh, sit out back for a little bit, have a beer, smoke a cigar. Um, I got part of it smoked anyway. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I definitely want to thank everybody for riding along with me. You know, you guys kind of get to see a little bit of the day in the life. Uh, you know, we didn't find a whole lot today, but you know what we did find, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if you guys get any questions, comments for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to get back to you. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye, everybody.